All right, this wonderful Tuesday is getting started with a personal break. Uh, this one is for Dundee's. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, appreciate it, Half. We are kicking it off with 2020 Tops Archive 6 Series Retired Edition. And uh, that is Jim Abbott. And that would be his auto. It's out of 31. Uh, Rico, I am a very old 40. That is fantastic. Ah, Mike, it's good, man. I cannot complain. Uh, Rob, I'm going to agree with you. I like Jim Abbott. How about Mo Vaughn out of 44? <laughs> oh, Rico, I don't feel it, man. <laughs> it's been a hard 40. <laughs> Believe you me. It's been a hard 40. All right, DC Bombshells. Uh, you are going to be getting a small figure as well as a very good shot at a sketch card. That's going to be Batgirl. Wait a minute. Did did you buy DC because it's DC's birthday? Is that what just happened? <laughs> I love it. Military. A uh, Porzingis 16 to the house. Uh, it's a great question. I don't believe that it was restocked. Let me look real quick. Nope, I do not see it. That's going to be a negatory. Hey, look, a checklist. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not bad girl, it's bad woman. Some of the nicest DC sketch cards come out of here. And I don't mean sketch cards of DC. I mean sketch cards about DC. Oh, please do, man. I'd appreciate that. Hey, Romaldo. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Speaking of sketch cards, there is your one of one. AIM. See, just kind of speaking those into existence. No biggie. Uh, how is Aquaman in with the bombshells? Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it, man. It was great. Uh, that is a foil, Aquaman. It was me and my son, uh, and I watched him play Ghostbusters on uh, the PS4 all day long. 
which left me to peruse the internet peacefully. AIM? I do not know. Or as we would say in Quebec, je ne sais pas. We have some pretty good breaks, not only personal breaks on deck, uh, but some interesting group breaks. They are short ones, with the exception of the first one, uh, but they are pretty solid, including a, an NT basketball box break, a Noir first off the line basketball box break, and three box luminous break, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Mike, I've read quite a bit of it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks off. <laughs> yeah, I got two of them. So uh, my mother actually dropped off a field guide uh, in addition to the, the, the textbook. Um, so the field guide is great. The field guide is the one I'm probably actually going to take out with me. Um, Tali Al Ghul. Because the illustrations are newer, uh, sharper, so I'll be using that for immediate identification. The other one is more or less for planning where I want to go, because it has a detailed overlook of the area. So it'll be, I'll be using both of them. Yeah, they remastered uh, Ghostbusters for PS4. I sure can, Kyle. Uh, how many of the ad icons do I have? Uh, Trav, I have two for you. That was all I could muster. But you know what? They're both for you, man. Hey, thanks, Vince. I am, man. DC Saurus? <laughs> or how about just Desaurus? <laughs> uh, I mean, I might. I doubt. Listen, man. I, uh, uh, Kyle, I can open yours next if you want. If, if they brought it to me, I'll open it next. Um, I would probably never name something after myself. I would probably. So here's a fun fact. This is what I've been told. I don't know if this is true. I was told at a young age, so it was something I always believed. Um, traditionally, you can only have one species of animal named after you. Uh, there's only very, there, you, there's difference between you know genuses and species. Uh, when it comes to actual species, you only have one that's that's named after you. Um, for instance, Gary Larson, who created the Far Side and who was recently uh, brought back the far side from the dead um, has a a flea species named after him. The species name is Gary Larsononis. Um, and in the letter to Gary Larson asking for his permission to name the species after them, they said, we know that you can only have one species named after you. And while I'm sure you would want to wait uh, for something beautiful like a swan to be named after you, uh, unfortunately, I study fleas and ticks. Uh, scuba, it is. Uh, so, from that letter to Gary Larson, I uh, have surmised you can only have one species named after you. Poison Ivy. So, if that... What's up, DCD? So, if that is the case, uh, I would probably find one of my childhood idols or an unsung hero of... Uh, Science and and named the first one I discovered after him. However, with that said, it's sensationally unlikely that I discover a new fossil. Hey Ryan, thanks, man. Oh, dude, absolutely, I agree a hundred percent. For the prices of the boxes, for how much you could turn around if you chose to part with the um, sketch card, you absolutely would be making profit. 
Now that is if you can stand to part with them. <laughs> Thanks, Vince. Uh, I am. Ah, very nice. Um, I have a collection of middle to late Devonians uh, from the Lake Erie 18 Mile Creek area basin. Um, between brachiopods and uh, all the different trilobites, I have a pretty decent collection. Hi, Blue. Oh, man, that is amazing. Uh, when I was a child, I wanted to be an archaeologist. And then when I was about 10 years old, reality kicked in. And uh, I realized I was never going to be an archaeologist. So instead, I, I went on a different path in life. Uh, now that I'm older, I wish I could not have to work and just go get my degree in archaeology. I have, I don't have a ton of trilobites. Um, unfortunately, the shell that they're found in uh, is mostly the bed of the creek. So only at low tide uh, am I able to, to search. I do not do digs. Um, it's private property in the area, so I just look for rockfall and any of the, well, sluice, for lack of a better term, uh, to fall. So I'm more or less rock hounding instead of doing digs. So I, uh, I'm not, I'm a non-disruptive rock hound. Um, unless I had permission, I would not be touching anybody's property. So, uh, nothing crazy. I mean, I have a couple of complete ones. Nothing, like, big. Uh, but the brachiopods, man, I have some fantastic both sides of the shell, filled, deflated, you name it. I got those. I got those in spades. I'm still learning about the um, origins, genus, and species. I'm still learning about uh, the difference between the Hamilton um, eras, and I'm, I'm really getting into origins. Uh, give me about six months to get through the field guide, and I'll be able to answer a lot more specific questions. Um, they are, but they would only break tomorrow at the earliest. Uh, I don't have any on hand. These are all from pre pre purchase. But I love it. It gets me out in nature. It gets me either swimming or hanging onto the side of a uh, an overhang of a cliff. It's it's a good time. Thank you, Kenny. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a uh, there's a few that I've seen other people in the area um, hit that were just stunning. I have I have a bead on a location that has some really fantastic uh, coral, like horn coral. Uh, and the horn coral, if you can if you can get a decent profile one, uh, those are gorgeous to display too. And we actually do have a very thin, maybe a eight to twelve inch. Um, hard sedimentary slash sandstone um, band that goes through the area that has some... Hey, there's another one. Um, Omar Soto. Another 101. That has some really good horn coral in there. AD, it is fantastic, man. I can't complain. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. 
I love meteorites. Um, I was told the best place to go for meteorites is the North Pole, since there is no actual ground underneath the ice cap. Anything that appears to be a rock is a meteor. Well, meteorite. Um, yeah, man, I would dig that. I would have to find time. <laughs> time is the number one commodity I don't have, unfortunately. All right, let's move. Uh, these were absolute stunners when we went for them the other day. 19 Marvel Flare. Yeah, man. I concur. Take it all well, I can tell you right off the bat. That's a great beginning. Ah, me after the second beverage of the night. Uh, yeah, how about a sketch card? Shea Zuber. Man, this is your day when it comes to sketch cards. That's your third. Uh, Riel, I'm going to agree with you, even though it's sad. How about a stained glass Wolverine? Let me get something to show you. Stained Glass Wolverine. Uh, yeah, I think that is Jean Grey. That would be my professional guess. Uh, this stuff is cool. There was a lot of neat things that we found in here when we opened them last time. Totems, Black Widow. Rocket Raccoon. Oh, LOL, it's fantastic. Sweet, man. That's what I like to hear. Matter, man thing. With the antimatter, uh, I can't rightly tell. Not the greatest pick. Oh yeah, but every all of them are if you don't uh contact them and pay some absorbent amount to make sure it gets there early. Uh singularity Deadpool. Because I've seen people get a, a, a one week to, to two week turnaround time, and then they told me, yeah, I paid them two grand. And it's like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't care if the card's worth 50 grand. I am going to wait. Lucky Eights, 63 out of 88 Spectrum. That's with that Gem Metal Effects background. Uh, I'll take the Wagner, because there is a slim chance of more of the Wagners being found. There's a good chance that there are unopened boxes that still have LeBron rookies in it. Through the ages, the Copper Age, Thor. Marvel Spotlight. 
That is a manufactured patch. Oh, see, I didn't know what uh, what the LeBron was out of. Ah. LeBron out of 23? Yeah, well, that's different then. Yeah, I didn't realize it was uh it was only out of 23. I kind of figured it'd be out of 99. Uh no insert per se in that particular pack. All right, last box. An 8 of 5 and a 4. <laughs> wow. Okay. Namor Totem Iron Man. It's a nice little manufactured patch. Looks like another stained glass on way. This one is going to be Aurora. That's a heck of a collection. Antimatter, the void. Uh, I did a little bit today, right before he woke up. I got some time in. So I'm getting stoked for the five to come out. When I when the five comes out, he gets the four. Antimatter, Taskmaster, and his muscle memory. Uh, his matter would be Deadpool. Singularity, Wolverine. Yeah, nobody in my family ever collected. Uh, my grandfather allegedly has a bunch of old cards from the 50s uh, stashed somewhere in the house. Uh, he claims they're not there anymore. My father swears uh, he saw it 10 years ago. Uh, but allegedly there's a whole bunch of old school mantles and DiMaggio's and Maris's and things, but I don't know. I'm sure if my grandfather ever passes, I'll be the first one my father calls to help him go through it. Power Blast. What is that? Glob. Oh, you're welcome, man. You are 
are welcome. 